Hello everyone, this is me and it's going to be my review for BB260 or the super deformed Cho Shogun Toga. I kind of like the the name how it, how it sounds out. It has a nice flow to it. <laughs> and I'm not quite sure if that's actually the English version. I got it from one of the online sites that has a gallery or a list of most of the super deformed. So hopefully it is. There's a nice ring to it. Cho Shogun Toga. Anyways. <clears throat> this is the figure. Cool looking kit. It's quite similar to the Bakimaru. But instead of the red, you're gonna get the gray or somewhat blackish. Yep. And articulation wise, head can rotate. But you do have this helmet that's on the way. So you have a straight peg, so you have a full articulation on the head. Well, I mean rotation but you cannot go side to side because of the straight peg. That's not let you do that. For the back um, this can rotate. It's on a straight peg as well. Shoulder same. And you can lift the, ar um, the arm all the way up. And again it's like a club like thing. It's quite big and bulky. <laughs> and feet can go up and rotate. It's part of his transformation later on. And let's see. Why don't we go to the transformation? So first off, all we want to do is um, move the... Actually, we'll leave the helmet on for now. Um, raise the arms. Rotate the waist. And um, probably remove the helmet, but we'll keep that for now. We have this uh, face plate. Pretty much the Gundam. Again, I really like the zigzag pattern on the side of the face. It looks pretty cool. And just plug it in like that. And uh, again, we'll put this back on. One of the arms. This is the left one. Connects in a straight peg. Um, this this one doesn't have um, elbow articulation, which I guess uh, one of the flaws or one of the cons. But you do have a full rotation, so it's not that bad. And for the feet, you get two sets of dragon feet, <laughs> which I think is really cool. And it's just connects. There's a ball joint. There you go. Um, you also, I mean, for the face or actually the crest part, you do have an extra one. You get this one, um, so, um as opposed to just getting the VIF in. So it, I guess this is what what difference this from the Baki Maru, and this one just plugs over there. So it's pretty cool looking. <laughs> and um, let's see. Otherwise, like the Bakimaru, you have to take this off in the vision. And you have to flip it over. And put this back on the back. And there you go. But, you also get an extra piece right here, like a crest, which the bucket mirror doesn't have, but you get it on this one. Looks pretty cool. And, um, dragon head. An awesome dragon head. <laughs> Again, this thing can open up. Be teeth and we'll just snap on the shoulder there you go and um, lastly you can put this on the other shoulder as well but you do have this extra connector and um, if we can plug it in one second so there's steps over there and you just connect it 
and he has that anchor thing which you can hook up on the shoulder which is a bit tricky to do but it gets it goes in <laughs> and there you go that's Baki uh no not Baki Choshoga Toga pretty look good looking kit and for almost forgot the sword which can be mounted on the back right there or you can hold it yep cool looking kit I really uh, like this one as well and I think I still have time why don't we do the transformation um, when he goes berserk uh, let's see so first off um, remove the shoulder armor or the head this one as well and this so similar to the Bakimaru you have to remove the feet which I'm kind of afraid to do because I just painted this and it's not coming out and I already have some paint on my fingers that's odd just bear with me there we go it surely doesn't stick that well <laughs> okay so what do you do like before you lower this down so I'll ask the other side and you flip it over and it becomes your new feet and these guys can mount on the arms actually you can mount this in the arms as well yes that pegs slits over there There you go. And for the front part, um, let me just double check the guide. Hmm. It says here that I'm gonna remove this. Flip this head over. And I um, guess we don't need this one. And um, have this in front. And um, this one, we need to connect this part here. I just have to change batteries. <laughs> so what you do is just slit on those sides and you have to put it all the way in. Like so, there you go. And you'll be using this, um, I guess, nub. <laughs> and I'm going to connect it here. So it's a bit more secured than the Bakimaru's and let me just align this there you go I guess you can uh, put this in the back in the crest but um, in the instruction you don't have to but there you go that's pretty much is a berserk mode and yeah, pretty cool looking kit. 